Hey Pisces, this is your weekly. Take what you need and leave the rest. This is a timeless message, as always. If you're new to my channel, thank you so very much. If you've been around a while, thank you. So this is going to be timeless, your weekly. We're going to start rolling. If you don't forget you all to like, subscribe, and share. <clears throat> Five of Wands, the Eight of Swords, the Seven of Cups. Okay, so you've been through the ringer with some, with some folks. Been through the ringer with some folks. Okay, and, and you're letting arguments with this these people or whatever situation kind of hold you back from opportunities, from new opportunities. You know, you put your foot down, Pisces. And let it go. Let it ride. Yeah, five of pentacles. You need to let some people go. In order to experience your happiness and your, your happy place, you need to let some people go. Some conflict. Maybe this is also some mental conflict. You let what people say hold you back from your truest potential. Okay? You got the death card. You're letting people hold you back from who you really truly need to be in your life. Got the communication card, yeah. Nine of Cups, the death card, communicating. What they say to you, you let it get to your head. It, it keeps you from moving on. It keeps you from perfecting your greatness. Do you hear me? It keeps you from perfecting your greatness, letting people what people say to you. Conflict, you know, arguments. Like whatever these people say to you, you let it bother you so much that it keeps you stuck and stagnant, okay? Somebody too. <laughs> I'm hearing this. Somebody is afraid of bugs. I don't know where the hell I got that from. Afraid of bugs, water bugs, roaches, whatever. Ro you're just afraid of bugs, insects, spiders. Just totally afraid of bugs. Literally, like arachnophobic kind of person. All right. You're letting conflict, what people say to you, get to you. Yeah. You're letting what people say get to you because you really don't. Whatever people say to you, you sink it in. You let that shit sink in your head. Okay, whatever they say to you, you let it sink there and you worry about it and you worry yourself sick and silly about what people say. People are going to talk about you till the day you die, Pisces, and there's nothing that you can do about do about it to change them. But you can change the way how, how you let what people say affect you. That's, that's the most important thing, not to let what people say get to you or what they say or how they say it, you know. Um, you're, you're being held back from your greatness. You're being held back from your future plans that you've made. I don't think I'm going to do this or if I do it, I, I may fail because so-and-so said this or so-and-so thinks that I'm a failure. Screw what other people say. How do you feel about your life? How do you feel about what's going on with you? You know, can't let what people say to you bother you because you have nine of cups. You have wish fulfillment. You have new new opportunities to voice your opinion about your life and stop letting other people voice their opinion about yours. You know, don't let people say what they say keep you back. You know, because you have opportunities that you're afraid to take with the four of cups in the full card. That's going to take you take you to a limitless opportunities more and more opportunities with this ten of cups a happy home a happy family they may be saying well you're, you're not marriage material you'll never get married you'll never do this you'll never do that you'll you never be better than, than what you are now we have you moving on with with the uh, chariot card okay and tapping into your potential your your uh what is the universe saying to you we got the lovers too uh you two have a lover possibly coming back or this is an opportunity for you to find love true love but two finding self love in yourself and not letting what other people say to you like i said hold you back okay your intuition you're, you're moving further to something too about you moving uh into your intuition it's like you're going through one from one aspect of your life being the benefit the benefit of your own doubt sinking in and you following your intuition. What is your intuition? If, if you got people telling you to out um, Taurus, Pisces, maybe you're dealing with the Taurus. If you Pisces are listening to people telling you that you're not going to be any good, you're not going to do this, you ain't going to be this or that or whatever. What is your intuition telling you? What are you, what are you listening to for yourself? What are your inner guides telling you? Despite the fact what you're hearing from other, from hearing from the outside, from the peanut gallery, what are you saying to yourself? What downloads are you getting from the universe? The universe is telling you that you're the shit. You can do whatever it is you put your mind to. You say, you say positive things to yourself. And you follow by whatever it is that's the purity that you have inside of your heart. And you go by what you know on the inside. Accept what's, what good is coming to you. But on top of that, don't be afraid to take 
to take uh, strides to move forward in your life. You take this opportunity to further your life through leaps and bounds, and you're going to get 10 of cups moving. And that's going to also help you learn more about who you are intuitively by listening to your intuition, not, not listening to the naysayers, not listening to what these people say. You know, they think they don't think that you're good. You're a hard worker. Uh, probably um, very have a good a work ethic, but just ethically in general, you are a good person. Sometimes people don't like to see you doing good or see you doing better than them. They want to try their way to any way to chop you down. That kind of stuff. Okay. But you are a hard worker. You know, and you need to understand that, that you have to stop listening to what other people are saying. Don't doubt yourself. You know what kind of person you are. You know, you know what kind of worker you are. You are, are good at what you do. I don't care what kind of work you do. If you, if you sit at home, you are just a good person and people don't like the good in you. We got the magician being anything, uh, being able to manifest. People don't like the fact that they see you possibly doing better than them. They think that just because you got this or, or you able to hold on to that, that you doing better than them, than them. That may not even be the case. It just means you're following your intuition. You're following your inner guidance. Your inner compass is telling you that you can do better than you think you can. And, and don't keep letting other people shade, put, throw that shade at you saying something different. Okay, got to gotta let it go. We got the tower card. People try to shit on your parade all the time. They think that because you, you're the star, you can, you have the ability to cut them out and to move on with their life. And they're going to try everything to keep you stuck where they are in, in their tower moment. They're going to try their best to keep you. Not a ones and not a source. I'm going to cut you out. I'm going to cut you out with words I say. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that to try to prevent you from moving forward. Don't let them. Because it's already within you. The goodness is already within you. You don't have to hold on to what they say. To, to the negativity and the naysayers of what they say. You don't have to hold on to that because you have a, the space and opportunity to be more than you give your own self credit for. Stop letting what people say hold you back. Okay, Pisces? You keep on moving on with your life and screw all the haters. Screw them. You tell them, F you. Get the hell out of my face. I'm done.